Hey guys, welcome back to our tech. Today's video, I'm going to show you how I fixed this problem of not having the Windows 11 compatibility tool showing that my computer can actually install Windows 11. I had so much of issues with this tool and it always kept saying that your PC is not compatible. Now I know a lot of people keep talking about secure boot and you go to the BIOS and enable that. But in some cases, it still doesn't work after that. You come back after booting your PC, after enabling Secure Boot, you'll still see that this tool says that your PC is not compatible. Now, I found a way to fix this issue. It turns out there are a lot more things that you need to do, including inside Windows, for you to have your system ready for installing Windows 11, right? So let's get started with the process. For all those folks who want to see how some of the settings are done in BIOS to enable secure boot, I can show this for an AMD CPU as I have one. This is an ASRock Steel Legend motherboard. So if you have something else compatible or something similar, it might work the same way, but I can't guarantee it. Once in the advanced tab of your BIOS, you will notice that the full HD UEFI BIOS is already automatically enabled, which means this BIOS is uh, compatible with UEFI. Once you do that, click on the CPU configuration. If you have an AMD chipset, enable FTPM switch. This enables trusted platform module, which is firmware based. Select the first option here, which is AMD CPU FTPM. Once you do that, you're pretty much done. Come back and you'll see that there are a few more modules here, which is like trusted computing. I've enabled that as well. If you have that option in your BIOS, you can go ahead and enable that. I haven't touched any other option here. I just put enable and that's it. The next thing you need to do is go to security. And here you'll see that secure boot option is disabled. So you can enable this if you have this option on your motherboard. But I have left it disabled because I could see that the Windows 11 compatibility tool said OK even without this on. So remember one thing, once you uh, enable this, you might have issues booting up to Windows. So once you go to the boot options, you should see Windows Boot Manager provided you have enabled uh, FPT partition module. And uh, that's the only reason why you see this here. Otherwise, you should see in boot option one, you will see the hard drives. Just a quick tip. All right. So once you finish all your processes in Windows, you should be able to see Windows Boot Manager. So we will see how to set up this in Windows in the next section. OK, once you boot up, let's assume that you've enabled secure boot in BIOS. Let's come back to Windows. And the first thing you need to do is click the start button, go to disk management. When you start typing disk, you will see that you will have this pop up on Windows, which says create and format hard disk partitions. Just just click that. So once that opens up, uh, you will see all your hard drives listed here. Now we need to see what kind of partition your Windows is using. So there are two formats for Windows to boot up and the way the file is actually written on your hard disk. So we need to use something called as GUID partition rather than your master boot partition. Let's find the Windows partition here. So I have it on a SSD. So this is my Windows partition. So let's go to properties. Then you need to go to tools, hardware. And then you click on properties of the disk where Windows is installed. And when you click on volumes, you will see that none of the fields are actually populated. Right? Click on the populate button and you will see that the partition style here is GUID partition table. On your system, if you have this as MBR must boot record, it's not going to work, right? So your first step is to convert that MBR file into GUID partition table. So that's a big step. If you like what you're seeing, please hit the subscribe button. It really helps the channel. Thank you. Another thing what you should do is run MS in 432 by just starting by clicking on the start button. And you will see that you have all the properties displayed over here, right? And what you need to uh, first look at is BIOS mode. So if it shows as UEFI, you're pretty much ready to install Windows 11, provided you have the compatible hardware. But if it still shows legacy, then it's not going to actually work. 
So our first thing to do is change the BIOS mode from legacy to UEFI. Okay, so what we're gonna do is two things. One is change your BIOS mode. And second thing is move the Windows partition from MBR to GPT or GUID based partition. So once you know that you are on MBR and you want to convert that, all you got to do is just start and run command prompt. So you just type CMD. Many of you know this and very important to click run as administrator. One of the foremost things you need to remember is when you go to my PC, make sure that you have enough of space on that drive so that the tool which is going to convert the partition will have enough space to do this whole transition from MBR to GPT, right? So once you come here, there are a few commands you need to give. You need to start typing the following command, which is MBR to GPT. So basically you're telling the system to convert a master boot record partition to GPT. Right. When this is this is a command which Windows or when your you know DOS recognizes, and you'll see that it allows you to do a couple of functions here. Right. What we are going to do is use the last command here, which talks about allow full OS. So to do this, you'll have to type in a command saying MBR to GPT space convert space and then allow full OS. That's it. So once you do this, you're going to get a couple of dialog boxes which says, you know, it's analyzing the disk. I can't run this right now because I've already done that and it worked. So I can't change that right now. Running this command and if it works, great. It's going to allow your system to convert from an MBR partition to a GPT partition, which makes it sort of ready for a UEFI boot from your BIOS. The best part is I've done all this on Windows while Windows is actually installed. It's not destroyed any of my partitions or it hasn't asked me to reinstall Windows, thankfully. So uh, the best way to verify all this is just by, you know, clicking your disk partition. And once you go into that, you follow the same process pretty much. You you go to properties, um, go to hardware, select the drive where Windows is installed, click on properties, and when you go to volumes, click on the populate button and you will see that this is a GUID partition table, which means it's ready to install Windows 11. Now, when I click the Windows 11 health checkup setup or whatever that is called, The last few times I ran this, it used to give me give me a message saying that this PC is not compatible. But when I check it now, it says this PC can run Windows 11. Great news, and it meets all the system requirements. The best part is I haven't even turned on you know secure boot on. I can tell you that because when I run MS Info 32, check this out: secure boot state. It's still switched off. So this is this is amazing. I mean, you don't even have to enable secure boot for it to tell you that your PC is compatible. Anyway, I hope this video has helped you guys. I, I hope at least it's helped you in one of the steps that you need to get your PC ready for Windows 11. In case you have any comments or any other questions, please leave a comment below. And if you like this video, please do hit the subscribe button and the like button. Really appreciate it. Once again, thank you so much for watching our tech. I will see you on the next one. Bye.